What's good? Francis Ngannou stops Renan Ferreira in the first round in his PFL debut, his first MMA fight in the last two years. And we were reminded why he was so dangerous in MMA. We are reminded why John Jones dubbed him for years and why he didn't step up to heavyweight until Francis was away from the UFC. Uh, he takes him down probably immediately, uh, showing him way improved wrestling. And Ferrero, or yeah, Ferrero, sure, trying not to get him confused with Pereira. Um, Ferrero tries to get him in a triangle, but he gets out of it, uh, starts his ground and pound, and ew, <laughs> it, got, it got pretty nasty after that. Just started hammering him with left hooks while he was on the ground. And he even, um, so he, he was facing up, but he, he was on a, he was on his back. Ferreira was on his back and he was getting pounded and he turns around so his stomach's to the ground and Francis is just still pounding on him. <laughs> and he probably took three or four unnecessary shots that the referee should have stopped it before. So we're reminded why Francis was so dangerous and he is one of the hardest hitters in MMA, maybe MMA history, but kind of, kind of, we're reminded why um, it was disappointing that he left the UFC because this fight was interesting because Ferrero was so big. He's 6'8", uh, and I think that was the only thing that was interesting about Ferrero. And that, uh, from what I hear, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but that's really the only heavyweight opponent for Ngannou in the PFL. So that's uh, bittersweet. Uh, of course, it's great to see him back in MMA in the cage, but now what? Now who's he's gonna? Now who is he gonna face? We'd love to see him against a Tom Aspinall, of course, a John Jones, but um, yeah, this this was his. This was a great showing from him, and you know he still got it. He still got it. So. Um, who do you guys want to see him fight in the PFL or again in boxing? I mean, sure, why not a rematch against Tyson Fury? I mean, why not? Yeah, he did really well against him the first time, you know, and you know he he got stopped by Joshua, but there's no shame in that. Uh, I think I've read that he still wants to do boxing. So um, there's a lot of people that said he would fumble the bag once leaving the UFC and. It's clear that he hasn't. He's a champ once again. So he'll be champion wherever he goes, man. He's just a resilient, athletic, strong, hard-punching guy, man. And he's successful wherever he goes. And um, honestly, it couldn't happen to a better guy. Uh, he's been through a lot this year. Um, the death of, uh, death of his child. So it's, uh, it's good to see him coming back strong so coming back as a champion again and now this video is almost as long as the fight or maybe longer already so uh who do you guys want to see him fight mma boxing what do you guys think he should do next so really sky's the limit he could i know he was in uh fast and furious 9 so he could still do he could do movies man um he he's made he's made a good future for himself so thanks everybody for watching peace